kids, what can we talk to you about? Chunk of Fabian. Hey kids, Chunk of Chunk of Chunk of Fabian. Okay, today we have the Boss Super Overdrive SD1. So this episode we're going to be using the Super Overdrive SD1. Check it out, SD1. Oh yeah, Zach Wild, Vivian Campbell, Johnny Greenwood, Fabian Dead. We use this pedal. This pedal is incredible, man. And it's why you see it's a super overdrive because it originally had an overdrive called the OD1, which was just an overdrive. And overdrive pedals are meant to just push an amp. Which I'm actually going to play a clean Marshall because these pedals, I want to show you their clean version before we dirty them up. This is the demo. Pedal before the distortion. Anyways. anyways, and this one is a switch that I modded it. In the middle, it's, it's the original. I like to always leave the original mod in my guitars, uh, my pedals, and guitars. I don't like to like take something away. I like to add. And I modded it, you know. So in the middle, it's the original position. To the output side of the pedal, we have what I would say soft clipping, where I'm, I remove one of the diodes, so it makes it softer. I'm gonna actually put the specs on the TV right now. And the this way. Back to the middle was the original, original recipe. Crispy over here. Super crispy. Uh, and what it does on this side is that I've added a um, diode. Diode, I'll put the number on. And a green LED. And I modded it, you know, this way. Original recipe, super crispy. Put a diode. Diode and a green LED. What that does, it makes it super loud. Like when I when, when I flip the switch all the way over, what it does is um it makes it so loud that um if you have it on a loud setting over here, oh my god, and like you you flick it over, yeah. So it's uh, your Uncle Fabian mod, but you have to turn it down to use it unless you're gonna go. But unless you're using it as some kind of super boost, then it's like, but then it's it's a switch. You'd have to actually switch it over. So this is the one we're going to show you. This actually is my favorite overdrive. It sounds really, really like buzzsaw and nice and buzzsaw. I have the original one from the 80s. And I have it down there. And I'll show you. I'll do a versus one. But this one is a lot more um, grittier. That one's a lot more soft clipping. And just overall, it's more warmer. The Super Overdrive SD1 is known as a low to mid, mid to low gain overdrive, which means it's not really going to be as distorted as something like a, a DS1 distortion, which is like super grainy and super gritty, as well as like the OS2, which is another overdrive slash distortion. This one is technically, I think this pedal is, a, is these two pedals. That's what I've heard. Depending right here, it says overdrive and um, distortion. Uh, in the middle, it's both of these. Like this. And as you know, as you turn it, it's more the overdrive or more the distortion. I also changed the LED. See the little LED? And <laughs> it's one of those things where I think I did it and I was like... Uh, I should have did the LED, and my wife was like, yeah, you should have done the LED. So I went back in there and actually redid it after I did this. So the SD1 pedal, it's um, this pedal's been used by a lot of rock stars, man. Steve, I used this on Eat em and Smile. On Eat em and Smile, I heard that um, he used like a bunch of Marshall head and a bunch of Marshall cabinets. But when he went to do the lead set, he actually used this pedal to boost everything he was doing. And it's probably the 80s one. This is like 80s one. But I'm telling you, both of them are 80s and 90s. Excellent. I love both of them for different reasons. But both because they're solid. They're just a solid rock tone. And I'm, I'm into rock tones. I'm not really into um super, super high gain. Like, I like... Things to be a little soft, uh, a little, I would say, warm and creamy. Who else has used this pedal? Who else has used this pedal? Vivian Campbell says that he used this pedal on Holy Diver. And that's a great album. So in the 80s, this pedal was used a lot. Even Eddie Van Halen was apparently using this pedal. But it wasn't until the 90s. Let me check my notes here. Eddie Van Halen was using the Super Overdrive in the 90s. So this wasn't his brown sound, but maybe this was Eddie's yellow sound in the 90s. So if you like Eddie's yellow sound... The 90s is what he was using uh, for a little bit. Because Eddie's always switching it up. This is Eddie's style. 
And so, yeah, we're going to check this out. We're going to turn the knobs. We're going we're gonna to hear all the sides of this. And we're going to use my Fender Made in Mexico um, Blue Fat Strat. And I think they're actually fatter than normal strats. Now, aside from the name being fat, I think they really are a little um, thicker. And so, yeah, um, another famous player is um, Zach Wilde. So all those original, um, those first couple albums was Ozzy. This is this is what Zach Wilde was rocking, and um, he was the first guy to use this pedal that I was aware of. And I'm um, actually. All the popular pedals I was hesitant of getting at first, like whether it be the Tube Screamer or the Super Overdrive, I had only heard the distortion on uh, the DS1 because my friend, uh, my friend had this and this chorus. So that's why, I've, so that's why I've got these, you know. But this one, I didn't know anyone owned this model. I actually heard this on Amazon. I went out and got it, and like, I was kind of shocked at how great it was. I actually prefer it to a Tube Screamer. Um, I don't know what it is. What's up, Squeaky Linda? Squeaky's trying to come in. Come on in. Come on in. She's just kind of shy. It's okay. Come here. Wow. Oh. Special guest, Squeaky Linda. What's up, Mama? You want to put you on camera? Go back there. They're going to come out if you don't get up. Let me see. Oh, she's a big girl. Squeaky, Squeaky. So I guess Squeaky is approving this super overdrive. Whoa! Ow! Cats. <laughs> they think you're a cat. They just dig their nails right into you. Okay, so um, guess who else used this? So that was guys in the 80s. In the 90s, guys like Johnny Greenwood from Yes Radiohead. I once met Johnny um, Greenwood at a, at a meet and greet at the Hollywood Tower Records. And I asked him, like, and it was supposed to be, you know, one of these, hey, how you doing? And I asked him, hey, what kind of pedals do you use? And he was all like, uh, he didn't even answer me. He didn't want to answer because it was kind of like, that's a long question. That's a long answer, kid. So he didn't ever answer. Johnny Greenwood never answered when I asked him when he was using, but at some point he started using the Super Overdrive. I don't know if he was using that in the, when I asked him. Actually, the day I went there, it was the, the bands was being released and um, we bought it that night and they played and it was incredible. But you know what was incredible? More so. When we went home and put that CD on, they played those songs like, I, I don't know how you can describe it better than the CD. The CD was incredible. It was bombastic. It was stupendous. It was the Benz from Radiohead. But we heard it played the night before, or that night, I think. And it was note for note perfect. Like, the singing, I cannot exaggerate. It was more passionate than the album, and the music was exactly the same, if not more passionate and more, like, driven. But that's one of those memories, you know? But, yeah, Johnny Greenwood. I don't know if he uses this on the album, but he uses it at some point, and... Um, Good enough for me. Let me see what else uses this. Squeaky, what's going on? And of course, your favorite rock star is Fabian Dead uses the Super Overdrive. I also use this one. This one's um, it's the regular 80s one, but I modded it. And these pedals are still out, and they're still delicious. Still delicious. The 90s and 90s <laughs> like it, and I'm going to do name, be do name. Be. You'll see why it's it's a lot more grittier, the grittier. The, but like both of them are like in my wheelhouse of like rock what i enjoy hope you enjoy the video i'm going to use my marshall it's a 1979 100 watt head and the cabinet is from the year 2011 i think in 2010 but it's probably older than that i got at the guitar center Here's the list. Here's the list. Here's the list. Here's the list. it's more of a buzz song
the soft clipping. I'm not used to playing with my knee out, but... Fold and ball, and you have to turn it down. Green LED, green LED, green LED, green LED, green LED, green LED. But it made it loud. This little switch cuts the splits the coil. You get the lower coil, upper coil. Let's go back to the original. I'm trying to back up, but it's so low, so low.
Sounds like before the overdrive. Not the same settings, and here it is after. all the fun we're going to have for now. So, beat it! Had fun I'm sweating like a like a pig in the mud. Yep, this is the killer bee right here, kids. Eat them and smile. And a lot of the people that like this pedal, like Steve Vai and Zach Wow, prefer the 80s version. But you know what? I have both the 80s and the 90s, and they both have their. It's kind of like um the Tube Screamer 808 and the TS9. You gotta have both. You gotta have both, and that's how it works. So remember, kids, the Super Overdrive SD1, like Zach Wild, dude, Ozzy, you know? Eddie Van Halen used this pedal in the 90s. You gotta have this pedal, you know? You gotta have this pedal, you know? But yeah, check this out. The Super Overdrive SD1 modded pedal, the review. At Guitar Fever LA, we think that guitars are a positive thing, not a negative thing. You should enjoy them. A lot of us stress out because we don't have the guitar we want, or we don't have the ability we want, or we just don't have the guitar we want. Something is missing. And you know what? You shouldn't stress out the guitar we want. At Guitar Fever LA, we believe that you should have fun with your instrument. You should be even discovering one. You shouldn't be afraid of it or letting it like, ruin your life. I've seen some videos where that one guy that hits his hands. Because <laughs> he can't play what he's trying to play shouldn't be that way at all. Enjoy it, man. I mean, all right, kids. So, 
Hope you enjoyed this episode. Kids, kids, that's kids, all kids. kids. Comment, subscribe. That's all kids. You know, follow us, like us. We got a Facebook page, we got a Twitter page, and we're on there all the time. If you need some questions answered, maybe we'll answer, maybe we won't. You know, we got a spreadshirt site where we got like these cool gear by Calavetta, you know, playing her Calavetta app. We also have Twitter where we um, post a lot of great stuff. We retweet a lot of great stuff. Images and videos and stuff like that. We're going to do more pedal reviews and a lot more stuff. We're going to do a lot more. We're going to do a lot more on location trips where we go around LA and surprise people. Yep, yep. we're going to surprise people. Stay tuned. Stay excited. All right. All right. Thanks a lot, kids. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If I missed anything, well... Who really cares? No one's watching this. I think we have five subscribers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We got 15. I'm proud of it. They've been dead. All right, kids, remember, don't hurt anyone. Don't punch anyone. Don't kick anyone. Stay out of trouble. Stay in school. Take out the dog poop. Take out the dog poop. Take out the dog poop. Pick up the grass. Cut the grass. Cut the grass. Pick up the dog poop. Take out the trash. All right, kids, Guitar Fever Alley out. Look who Fabian did out. Goodbye. Well, kids, subscribe, follow. We got Twitter accounts, Facebook accounts, Spreadshirt for gear. And go ahead, I want to spy stuff because Chang and Eve. So check us out on Facebook, YouTube. We got a Spreadshirt site. We got all these cool shirts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Still delicious. Still delicious. Still delicious.